Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. I'm a seasoned Jelvix developer specializing in blockchain who would like to remain anonymous. This way, I can share my honest opinion. And today's topic really requires it, since we'll be talking about the stereotypes and misconceptions associated with blockchain developer role, skill set, and demand. And of course, we'll cover the latest trends and industry hacks. Don't hesitate to drop some extra questions in the comments. My Jelvix colleagues and I will definitely answer them. And make sure to watch until the end to learn some jaw-dropping statistics about the current state of blockchain development. So, let's get started. Let's start with our first myth, which implies blockchain developers only work in the fintech field. In reality, while many blockchain developers do work in the cryptocurrency space, their skills go far beyond that. Blockchain technology is incredibly versatile, finding applications in sectors like supply chain management, healthcare, secure transactions, and even entertainment. Let's take Everledger, a blockchain solution for the diamond and luxury goods industry, offering a secure ledger to verify the provenance and authenticity of valuable assets. Or even Walmart, which uses IBM blockchain solution to enhance food traceability and safety. I even pulled up some stats for you. As you can see, the other segment surpasses banking, proving the versatile nature of blockchain technology. In my experience, I worked on various blockchain projects, including a supply chain tracking system on blockchain for a global retail client, a tokenization platform for real estate, and a blockchain-based identity management platform for a fintech client, to name a few. Moving on to the next myth, there's a common misconception that all blockchain developers are interchangeable. This couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, the blockchain ecosystem comprises various programming languages specific to different platforms, which significantly influences the development roles involved. Hence, there's a clear distinction in the blockchain developer's scope of work. Some blockchain experts work solely on infrastructure, focusing on designing and optimizing architecture to support scalable and secure solutions. Others may concentrate on developing smart contracts or specific language requirements, while a select group manages teams and oversees the strategic alignment of blockchain projects with broader business objectives. This diversity in skills and expertise highlights that not all blockchain developers are the same. Meanwhile, the greatest distinction is between the following two roles. Core blockchain developers focus on building blockchain, while blockchain software developers create decentralized applications on top of existing protocols. This implies different skill sets, expertise areas, and distinct work processes. Now, if you're interested in blockchain and wondering which role suits you best, here's my recommendation. If you're into designing complex systems and tackling theoretical challenges, you might prefer being a core blockchain developer. In contrast, if you're more inclined towards creating user-friendly applications and solving practical problems, a blockchain software developer role could be a better fit. Speaking of roles and skills, another common myth is that blockchain development only requires programming skills. While I won't argue that coding is essential, it's just one part of the role. As a blockchain developer, I also need to continuously hone my problem-solving skills, collaboration, solid time management, as well as adaptability to changing technologies. On the technical side, essential hard skills encompass the knowledge of blockchain, smart contracts, cryptography, distributed ledger technology, data management, API development, DevOps practices, and testing frameworks like Truffle. With that in mind, I'd like to address another stereotype regarding the complexity of learning blockchain. While blockchain technology may seem daunting for beginners, I'd say that those with prior programming experience, especially in web development and JavaScript, can have a smooth start in learning and will find it easier to grasp the basics. And not to sound too subjective, I've found multiple pieces of evidence to support my point among my colleagues in the industry. The demand for blockchain developers continues to grow as the industry actively evolves, allowing you to stay updated with the latest trends during the learning phase. And due to the novelty of the industry, self-learning is actually key. And as for those without proper developer experience, starting with the basics of programming would be beneficial. Needless to say, the role of blockchain developers will be gradually reshaped with artificial intelligence. AI can enhance smart contract automation, allowing developers to implement more complex logic and decision-making processes. It'll also enable developers to achieve higher security of blockchain solutions by analyzing networks and transaction patterns for vulnerabilities or frauds. AI can assist developers in optimizing blockchain for better scalability. Extracting insights and trends from vast amounts of blockchain data, providing predictive analytics, and automating compliance checks. Of course, there are many challenges ahead in figuring out how to use AI efficiently within developer operations, but I'm confident the future of AI and blockchain is bright. Speaking of the future, 
Rumors are circulating that blockchain development is merely a passing trend and that blockchain developers will soon have to look for jobs elsewhere. Now, from what I see, blockchain developers are in high demand and will continue to gain momentum. In fact, industry predictions state blockchain is just in its early days. The industry is projected to grow at a CAGR of 65.5% by 2029, with the demand of blockchain developers booming even now. But don't just take my word for it. Here are some additional stats. Blockchain-related freelancing has seen an impressive 6,000% year-over-year growth in the last couple of years, and is considered one of the highest-paying programming fields, with salaries up to 160% higher. All right, I hope you enjoyed these insights in the video overall. If so, don't forget to support us by liking this video, subscribing, and pressing the bell button. Also, check out our hot review on software developer versus web developer video. There's lots of insights we packed in there too. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos, and bye for now.